Our next guided practice is finding a definite integral. So in our previous guided practice, we were given a point that our curve goes through to find that value of c. For this guided practice, we're going to evaluate our integral between two points. So we're going to, first of all, expand this bracket here um, to write down the integral as a polynomial that we can integrate term by term. So x to the power of a third, subtract 1, all squared. We're going to expand the two brackets. x to the power of a third, subtract 1, multiplied by itself. So when we do x to the power of a third multiplied by x to the power of a third, we're going to add those powers, we get x to the power of two thirds. Negative one multiplied by x to the power of a third, we've got negative x to the power of a third. And then we've got another one of those. And then negative one multiplied by negative one, that is plus one. So my expression becomes x to the power of two thirds subtract 2x to the power of a third plus 1. So our integral we can rewrite, so we're integrating from 0 to 1, x to the power of 2 thirds, subtract 2x to the power of a third plus 1 dx. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to start by integrating our expression just like we have done in our previous lessons but then we're going to evaluate our expression between these two points so we're going to draw these square brackets and inside that square bracket i'm going to write down what this expression is when it's integrated so we're adding one to the power dividing it by that so two thirds plus one that is five thirds so i'm not going to have so 2 thirds plus 1, that is 5 thirds, so I'm going to have x to the power of 5 thirds, and then I'm going to divide by that power. I'm subtracting, I've got 2x to the power of a third here, a third plus 1, that is 4 thirds, so I know I'm going to have x to the power of 4 over 3, and then I'm doing 2 divided by 4 thirds, so I get 6 over 3. Four. And then I'm going to add 1 integrated is x. So I'm integrating this expression between the values of 0 and 1.